Any manifestation you're working on can show up in a few hours, days, weeks, even months, but it will only appear after the foundation is set. And that's when we are also shutting down the noise, right? We are ignoring what the 3D may be trying to serve up to you that's contrary and we stay focused and we stay in this natural feeling state, this good feeling state of the thing we desire. Okay, beautiful people, yay! Give yourself a hand. We are on the last and final point of the boil down of At Your Command by Neville Goddard. And the last points that we've covered up to this point is your thoughts count, the power is within you, feeling is the secret, yeah! Positive self-concept, and everyone is you pushed out. The sixth one that we're gonna be concluding this on, and then I'm gonna do one more about a little, some little ideas, because you know it's like powerful to get images in your mind to help you as you are figuring it out. So, point number six is how and when desire comes, okay? So, brrr, jump roll. We're gonna start with prayers for the world. So we're holding Maui, Lahaina, Kula, Olovalu, all of the Hawaiian island, all. Um, we're holding Oahu, Big Island, but we're also holding the places in the earth that are nearest and dearest to our heart. I'm just expanding my heart out to the whole earth. So here we go. We're holding for love, for peace, for abundance, for food, provision of all types, for peace. Okay, we and you know, somebody's got to do it. We're holding for these higher order values. And believe me, whether you think you can see it or not, your prayers are being answered. It may be in a dimension or reality that you're, you don't have an eye on yet, but trust me that every little thing that we think and we do carries out into the universe. And we want to make sure what we're carrying out is the positive order values and blessings into the world. So higher order values, blessings, and words and thoughts into the world because thoughts count. So here we go, just let's lift up our beautiful earth. Grab that state though, what is the state that you're gonna hold? Maybe the state from Miracle Lane. Ooh. Okay, yeah, here we go, holding up the earth. We're going to release our prayers so that they can go do its work. We're going to cast it on the universal mind of God, the universal hand of God to be done in ways that we could not even imagine. Okay. All right. So what are we doing? We're like doing the boil down of Neville Goddard's At Your Command. And so our sixth point that I'm going to be talking about today is how and when desire come. It's not our job to find out how and when our manifestation will show. Faith, walk it out in faith. The bridge of incidents will show up, okay? So if you literally try to do the how, you like Cosmic Kitchen is another great book on that. You make your order to the Cosmic Kitchen and you release it. You don't go to a restaurant and make an order for food and then trail the waitress and the cooks all around. Most people don't. And it will curtail the, the way your order can get back to you, the blessings that can come through your food. Micromanaging puts a chokehold. So it's not up to you to find out the way how. Like when we are releasing our prayers, it's not our job to find out the how and when our manifestations will show. What are we gonna do? We are going to flex our faith muscle, so to speak, and we're gonna walk it out in faith. 
And as we're walking this out in faith, having this bold faith that that which we are desiring, so our desire plus our awareness, our M state equals our reality. We're going to walk that out in faith and then the bridge of incidents will show up in which we can walk over. And as we are using our imaginations wisely, you're actually imagining that bridge of incident showing up. You're imagining the victory in your court case. You are imagining the health. All of a sudden you get the good report and you are healthy. Yeah! You get the good report. Oh, the trial's over. Yeah! You get the good report that like all your kids are home safely. Yeah! Or you want a trip to Egypt. Yeah! The bridge of incidents will show up. So most people tend to worry about these. What does worry do? It puts a chokehold and it pushes it away, which is a repelling agent. Worrying, stressing, trying to figure the how out, they are all repelling agents. We tend to speculate how we will see that which we desire. Like this is another thing you see people do a ton when they're trying to manifest the love of their life. They start chokeholding and in this worry stress state, that it just kills the energy for them to pull magnetize their their dream lover so we tend to speculate on how we will see that which we desire but the thing is the thing is manifestation is perfect and it has its own way to materialize so if you want to release the stress and worry about it and you want to also encourage yourself that or better I will materialize that or better I will manifest right don't get too caught up in that so that the energy of the universe can get moving moving and shaking and making it happen okay so it can really show up any manifestation you're working on can show up in a few hours days weeks even months but it will only appear after the foundation is set and that's when we are also shutting down the noise, right? We are ignoring what the 3D may be trying to serve up to you that's contrary and we stay focused and we stay in this natural feeling state, this good feeling state of the thing we desire. So this is accomplished, having your foundation is important. This is accomplished when your new reality, your new concept of self, your new positive concept and new affirmations are rooted in the subconscious mind and also also that you feel them to be true because you're going to be a different kind of vibration you're going to be a different type of fire flickering in the dark in the night it's going to be like flicker fire your new reality your new positive self-concept your new affirmations totally burning bright within your subconscious and all of you just bringing it right to you so Another big takeaway from at your command is to start being grateful for what you want as if you already have it. So I am thankful for my new van. I am thankful for my new car. I am thankful for my new house. I am thankful for my trip around the world. I am thankful for my new boyfriend. I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for my church. I am thankful for my food. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for each and every one of you bring a new flavor of beauty and wonder to my life. So start by being grateful for what you want as if you have it already and just be grateful in general for everything. And then it is in that moment when the seed is planted in your subconscious. And if you dwell in that state long enough to override your previous assumptions, it has to show up and you will perceive it as through your senses. Woo! Yes! Fire! Woo! Woo! Neville just brings it. So if you really want it, if you really desire it, you need to embody it from now on. Just try it on. Try on that size of that new thing. Just act it out, pretend it, and watch what will happen. It is gonna breed incredible results. You need to embody it from now on, no matter what 3D whips up, whips up this, whips up that, blah, 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 trying to distract you. And like Thomas Shelby, we're gonna say, quiet, quiet, it's just noise. Stay focused. So no matter what the 3D wishes whips up, 
We're not going to um, get distracted. We're going to embody it from now on and it will become a reality. And I want you to think of these little challenges or hiccups. I want you to think of it as part of the fun. You're working to manifest and the 3D is trying to like throw things into your screen that are irrelevant. And maybe you can't this, you can't that. Make it a, a fun thing like, oh, I see you there. I see you over there trying to dish up some bullshit in my life, trying to like discourage me from my desire. But guess what? I am in full alignment and I am fully feeling it. The secret is alive and well in me. My affirmations are in anchored into my subconscious and I am assuming I am the law of assumption I am seeing it being done just have fun with it you know like see it as you know banter to the opposite and the fun of creating your desired state your desired manifestation whatever you wanting to do so at your command has gems that can help you transform your life into the life you dreamed of don't delay your new life start right the second claiming your power and start affirming what are we affirming we are affirming that everything in this world is at your command is at our command so what are we commanding and so that would be point six how and when desires come don't try to choke it off just trust embody shut down the noise and make it a fun like if the universe is sort of trying to dish up the opposite make it fun it's it's like just telling you to stay focused and stay with your desired thoughts stay in your awareness my i am and hold that reality law assumption it's done okay so what what were we doing we hit your thoughts count the power is within you feeling is the secret your positive self-concept and everyone is you pushed out and how and when desires come so those kind of the topics that he covered i just want to encourage you all you can go back to my videos and just listen to us break down the at your command just the reading and then these wonderful points that could uplift your life and i want to close with this quote nevo Man is ever out picturing that which he is conscious of being. Neville Goddard. We love you, Neville Goddard, and we are thankful for your at your command. And we thank you that we know even now in the ethers, you are encouraging many of us to focus and that we can do anything that we put our minds and hearts to and that we will be doing that. So please leave your comments. Uh, like these videos, subscribe, share it with your friends. We are working to build a positive community. Please leave your comments. There are things that you might put in the comments section that could really lift somebody out of a trench or encourage somebody in a positive way. Maybe words of wisdom or ways that you've used these tools where you've had manifestation. It's just wonderful. Whatever you have to put, it is welcome here. And of course, you know, positive comments only. If you're not here to uplift and be part of the community in a positive way. There's so many other things for you to enjoy on YouTube. So I wanna just thank each and every one of you for joining me. I wanna thank you. I'm watching the subs go up and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. May we just continue to build this community and in the future, I hope that you will come to see me in Hawaii and my events. So may you all be having just the most wonderful day and just remember you have a purpose dream vision goal acts of service you've got something that the world is in need of and you need to get going and give that to the world okay we, the new earth is on point and you are within it and you have a specific role to play and i would love to know what that is so i'll be praying for each and every one of you so just know no self-harm no numbing yourself out no suicide come here and listen to the videos be uplifted there is an energetic signature of healing health love and upgrades in these videos so just join in two or more gathered in his name you are going to be blessed we will have what we are praying for we are higher order values and i just appreciate each and every one of you thank you for your support and may you be in and at peace mm -hmm.